So we did the RV trip as well with Ludwig, yep. uh, Chris and Pete. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We went around Nagano. Mm. Yeah. We did just kind of activities, just mm. sports, basically. Mm. First no one day, died this time? No one died. We did paragliding. Yeah, I was like, when, when you told me you guys are doing paragliding, yeah. I was like, oh, you got you got And it looked great shit. on camera. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. It looked awesome. So we streamed from the air, which yeah. was kind of sick. Nice. Did like quad bikes. We did- What was when, your favorite activity this time? Oh, I was thinking about this. It's tough. Um, fuck, what was the best activity? Oh man, it's tough. <laughs> the trampoline. Trampoline was really fun, dude. Chris was so funny when we were trampoline. Uh, dude, just imagining it is funny. <laughs> Chris went like non-verbal and like, was just bouncing on his own in the corner the whole time. <laughs> but like he was having the time of his life. Yeah, I like, can imagine. Chris was genuinely, <laughs> having so much fun. <laughs> and like, without doubt, it, I've never seen Chris smile so much for two hours. <laughs> and every single shot, it'll be like me, Pete and Chris talking. And in the background, you just see Chris going. <laughs> and then like butt, butt jumping. He'd jump on his butt and jump back up. And he was just doing it so much. It's, it's the most it Chris so thing, sweet. isn't it? Was he like- yeah. He oh. loved it. Was a, but what was he like before when you like brought up the idea? He liked it. He was like, cause right. he was like, I have a trampoline in my house, but I, I broke it <laughs> from jumping on it. And I was like, I've never broken a trampoline in my yeah. life. <laughs> That's an achievement. Yeah, was, <laughs> what? And so yeah, trampolining was really fucking sick. We rented out the whole trampoline park. Hell yeah. And we just were just doing like fun little- uh, we were just I saw you around. attempted a backflip as well. Did a backflip for the first time in my life. Yeah, on a, on the trampoline. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. He he was so they had a giant, which I was really pumped about. Giant foam pit. Mm -hmm. Not the Twitch foam pit, right? Just Not the I, Twitch foam pit. An, 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 arch, an actual foam pit. Foam pit. One of the ones with the big square blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. can just you feel like you just oh, like dive straight. Oh into yeah, it. yeah, you're like yeah. I want to guess I want to just jump in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then they had a giant airbag, like a giant like they have in like the stunt oh, yeah, action yeah, yeah. movie. So that was really sick. So we were just fucking trying to. Because Ludwig was like, I want to learn another backflip. And I was like, you know what? I should learn too. I've never done it. Yeah. So we would, he would just teach us to try and jump backwards into the pit. Mm. Uh, and after a while, I was like, yeah, I think you can do it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's just kind of nerve wracking trying to backflip for the first time. Cause you're like, I'm going to snap yeah. my neck. Yeah. <laughs> but managed to do it. And it was a whole lot of fun. And backflips are sick. Fuck yeah. I, I want to learn how to backflip. I now. reckon maybe I could do a backflip on the ground. My only concern is fucking up, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And dying. It's it's yeah. it's a matter of like just breaking getting your neck. But I nerves. think I have the physical ability to do it. I think a lot of people have the physical ability. I think to I can do, do it. it. I think they I can just do need it. the technique and yeah. the, just get over the nerves. Yeah, yeah the the mental diff. You know? if, if if I had one of you boys with the with the mat that you. Fucking yeah. Like, mm. If oh, it yeah, looks like I'm throwing. about to snap my neck, you yeah. just go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but would you trust? Uh, us yeah, with would that? you trust us? <laughs> yeah, I would. We'd be like, yeah. oh, sorry, because yeah. I, I, I think you would hate to ha have me die. Well, yeah, obviously, yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but that, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. No, I trust. I've, I trust. I've seen like the gymnasts. They do have, like fast. the spotters. Yeah, and I have no idea how the spotters are able to, in a split that's second, true. know when a land is literally be wrong. using hockey. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just know instinctually. Like. Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. And I, I and I'm I'm here sitting, but what if he lands it? What if what if he yeah. makes a sick I, no, I trust my him. boy. Yeah. <laughs> he won't snap yeah. his neck. <laughs> I I learned how to backflip like four or five years ago for a video. Oh wow, nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I Oh was, the anime video, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The the Can I, you still do it though? Wait, what you were you looked at a backflip for an anime video? Yeah, I got sponsored by Naruto Online. And what? I I rented out a, a tricking gym and okay. I got uh Dogen. Because oh, he, yeah. he used oh, to do tricking. What? Yeah, yeah. Before he became a YouTuber, he was like what? he was like a master tricker. I did not know that. Yeah, so, so I got him. He dressed up as Kakashi and I dressed up as Naruto and he taught me how to backflip. That's sick. Yeah, and I, I landed one. Can you still do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean maybe. I know I know the technique, but I think it's it's all mental. Like just getting over the how, fear of like, oh, I know how to do it, but actually telling your body to do it and then landing. Oh, it's like a trampoline was on the ground. On the ground. Dude, that's how long sick. did it take you to like Learn two or three hours. Two or three hours. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So it is. I mean, if I can do it, I'm not physically capable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as other people are. I mean, how so old like were you back in? Twenty five. Oh, All right. I think twenty four. Peak physical condition. Dude, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anime videos are weird back then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got the same kind. Of yeah. I was like, fuck. How do I make a Naruto video? I'll just learn without how to actually flip. talking about Naruto. Oh, I'll learn ninja tricks in Naruto cosplay. <laughs> And they love that idea. Yeah, and I learned how to backflip, it was sick. I'll just learn how to backflip, it's easy. I'll this never be, use this again I'll in my life. I'll simply just learn. I'll just yeah. learn how to do it, yeah. You, so you'll, you'll learn how to backflip, you wanna ride a bike with us? Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? What the heck? Dude, I hate cardio. 
Why? I hate cardio so much. Dude, cardio's so it's good. My, the bike and row is my least favorite thing to do at the gym. Rowing's so good row, too. Okay, row a little bit better, but bike kill me. Row, you feel like Zeus because you're like separating the sea to yeah. move you forward. Row mm -hmm. makes you feel like a big boy, but yeah. bike just makes you feel like a a, a, a bitch. <laughs> like you just like, it's just no matter how much you do it, like you, everyone just gets to that point where you're like, I can't go anymore. <laughs> and I just don't want to be on this anymore. Fair enough. <laughs> you know? Fair Mental enough. Joy. Come yeah. on. You gotta, you gotta give me, give me a little more training and I might join you. <laughs> um, uh, but we also did F1 cars, F1 like go karts. I was oh. about to fucking say. I was like, I was like, you definitely did not like, do F1 it was, cars. It was like, they were like, uh, it was like a legit go kart place, but like, they were like, like, real, like racing go karts. Like, right. for like, like, how fast are we talking? Yeah, they had like the, because they had like the laser timer thing on it. So oh, shit. It was like oh, okay. fully timed. It was Damn. really fun. Um, we did some other ATVs too. We, yeah, ATVs are always fun. There was a llama place we went to uh, where the, okay. we watched a llama race. No, alpaca race, sorry. Alpaca. It was alpacas racing. Right. And that was really fun. Cause we got really into it. When they we like betting. <laughs> yeah, we all had our own, ho our own horse. Sorry, our own, <laughs> our our own, own alpaca. Our, our own alpaca that we bet on. Yeah. They actually like race or did they just like let the, like, let the gates go? They let the gates go and they fucking ran and to, there's a finish line. Oh, oh, okay. So, but did it actually like beeline to the goal right, yeah, yeah, or did yeah, they yeah. just kind of like walk Yeah, we were kind of shocked by that. We thought it was going to be kind of underwhelming, but they just yeah. fucking beeline for it when Damn. the thing went. And we were like, oh shit, okay. Because I remember we went to a zoo once and they did uh, the turtle racing. Oh <laughs> they, yeah. They, well, I they, mean, that's it's turtles. That's a it's, different it's type of fun. turtles, though. right? That's a different type of fun. It, 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 honestly, it was so much fucking, yeah. it was so, <laughs> so hype, hype <laughs> because it, it was literally just like, Obviously, gotcha. You're like, yeah. I like, I like the, the attitude of that turtle. And sometimes they'll beeline it for like a quarter of the way, they'll stop, and then they'll stop. And there was <laughs> like this, turtles. and there, and and this zoo, right? This this zoo. So they actually made an obstacle course because they put like a pond in the middle. Yeah. And it was like 50-50 whether your turtle would just stay in that fucking <laughs> pond or whether they would have like the instinct to go out the pond on the other side yeah, yeah. to the finish line. It reminds me of that YouTube video of this Japanese YouTuber where they got like five of their friends to all buy Roombas and yeah. they made an obstacle course in the house and they just let the Roombas go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just so hype, just just like watching the Roomba you know figure out the part. You knew the video was made so they could all buy a Roomba tax deductible as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we also uh, streamed rafting. Oh yeah. Well, so shit. We, had, we got the uh, cameraman Paul on the boat. Mm -hmm. we no, you must rafting. be nervous as fuck. Yeah. Was very nervous. God, yeah. like, I told Paul, not, yeah, I was yeah. like, it's like $10,000 if we tip this boat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're, we're tipping you over the boat if you drop yeah. it. But it worked and we had, we had signal the whole time somehow too. Nice. Shit. It was really fun. It was a really good trip. It was a really fun time. Hell yeah. As far as you got signal in the sky, that's uh, yeah. impressive. Yeah. Did but, you have to test that beforehand? No, how can we how test that? How the fuck that? do you test that? <laughs> yeah. test that? Just, it was just a fucking prayer. <laughs> but, but oh yeah, like, you know how you were shitting yourself paragliding? Do yeah. it again, but with a camera. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I mean, I for some reason paragliding, I don't feel, it feels like being in a plane. I have the same like mental response. What do you mean? Like, I just feel like- Oh, I'm because a, you're so high up. Yeah, I'm just yeah. kind of like, nah, it's like flying. Yeah, I was like that with parasailing. Cause you just, the ground looks so far away that it you don't like- It doesn't look realistic. It only feels like slightly scary when you get, <laughs> kind of close to the ground. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah. oh wow, I'm actually yeah. like- right. I yeah. totally agree. I don't so know when you're high, I, I suppose I get it. Cause my mom has um, vertigo. She has a massive fear of heights, Yeah, but she says, um, you know, when she gets high enough, sometimes it just, it's okay, but it's- You just feel so high it's, up. It's, yeah. the, it's the awkward height yeah. that's yeah. the scariest, you know? Yeah. So it doesn't really feel like anything until you get lower down. So I wasn't really, I was just too, I was like more worried like looking at the signal on the phone. And <laughs> I was like, how does it, that's good. <laughs> Connor just Bro didn't even look at the view. Yeah, he's just like on the he, phone. Like, he's like on the phone. Basically. <laughs> Yeah, I, it, was, like, it, was, uh, it was sick. It was really fun. Is, is chat still on? Do I can I still get chat? Basically, right, right, I mean that's salon. what I had to worry about, right? Because <laughs> we, we 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 took the road up to like this like cliff where we jumped off of. Yeah, and um, it, it you know we had shit signal up there. I was like, oh fuck, this is not gonna work. Mm. And it's the first thing we're doing, and yeah, ah, it's just gonna be a shame. But it worked perfectly, mm. so I was really pumped about it, and it ended up it was a really good time. Hell yeah! Awesome. So I was very glad it worked out. Nice. Yeah, did Pete enjoy his birthday there? Yeah, yeah, Pete had a good time. We we rented out a, a, a bar and got him a, a cake that said, happy 50th birthday, uncle. And- Damn, <laughs> why'd you have to do dirty like that? <laughs> I thought it'd be fun. Uh, what else did we do on Pete's birthday? How old is he actually? 41. 40, nah, yeah, 41. <laughs> yeah, it's all the same, right? Oh, 50, 41. Yeah. 40, 41, same yeah. thing, it's all- Same thing. I forgot we did on his birthday. What did we, oh, we, we went, um, what, what are you doing on his birthday, Nabby? The end of the buffet. 
what else did we do? What did we do in the day? Was that rafting? Oh, this is a trampoline day. 40, 40, oh. 20, 41 and going on the trampoline. Hey, that's my goal. Yeah. <laughs> Test he, he, he was the, yeah. the <laughs> we had a wipeout competition to who could wipe out the best in trampolining. What do you mean? Like who could like do a big enough, like spectacular fail oh. on the trampoline. Oh. So that's fun. Uh, I think Pete won, even though he was the judge. Cause, oh. cause chat will always vote for Pete. Oh, of course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of course, of course. He's just too damn charming. Yeah, God damn, yeah, God too damn. Pete. Uh, no, it's really good fun. Um, but yeah, it was a really good time. Um, yeah, it was great, great vibes. Nagano is a cool place. Went around Nagano. Went around yeah, yeah. Nagano's sick. Fun. Some come, some cool stuff around that area. Yeah, but very like sport oriented, like mm. activity based. Not mm. not a lot of activities. We went sweep making, and that was kind of that was kind of fast. And it was also boiling in the room because in Japan they have this thing where. The moment it gets a little bit cold, they're like, turn the AC up to 30 degrees. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, it, it's, starting to hit that, it's starting to hit that temperature as well. I've well today today yeah. on the train, it was like, I, the, the train rolled up to my station and the windows were just fogged Dude. up. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know what to go in here, bro. Bullet trains are the worst for this. Yeah. I, yeah. I got the bullet train from Hiroshima this morning and I was like, oh my God, I'm roasting. Yeah. It's like 26 <laughs> Celsius in this train car. Yeah. I'm like, my God. And there's like Japanese, and there's like a Japanese old woman with like three layers yeah, on. And yeah. I'm like, what the f <laughs> And it's Please. not even like, it's not even that cold outside. It's no. just it's fine. It's, it's nice. It's literally fine. This is like normal British weather. Yeah. Uh, this is what the weather's supposed to mean this time of yeah, year. Yeah, 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 exactly, right? Yeah. Maybe even even a little bit colder yeah, than what it's supposed sure. to be like now. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to every heating being on in Japan. Yeah. 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 But uh I mean speaking of like visiting old places that we've been to before. Uh, or I've been to before. Mm. I completely forgot about this, but uh, when I was in England, I went to Thorpe Park again for the oh, first yeah. time in I think hell yeah. 12 years or ever since. How, when was the last time you went to Thorpe Park? Cause I, I kind of, I, I was Six, trying to remember. Seven years ago. I was trying to remember. You're last, gonna have to fill me in on this park, dog. So it is kind of like Six Flags. Oh, okay. But better and cooler. But better right. and cooler. Okay. We, Except, we only really have like thrill parks in the UK. Yeah, mm. so, so it's a park not so much about, you know, building around like a certain theme, but it's right. definitely a park around- Just rides. Just rides, right, right, right? right? And I fucking loved this shit as a kid. Mm. You know, this this was uh, this was basically like one of my favorite places to go to in England, one of the places you go to, and uh, it's not depressing as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, that exists? Yeah, that exists, yeah, I know, I know. Um, so went there again as a 34 year old. First time I've been since I was, I think, I'm gonna guess like 21, 22 was the last time I went. I actually could not Damn. remember the last time I went. And they had added a fuck ton more rides there. Mm. Uh, so it's gotten a lot, they've added a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna be honest, I've, <laughs> what? It didn't live up to my memories, man. No, <laughs> it really? didn't. I was so, I was so fucking depressed about this on the day. Cause, okay, so there was this ride as a kid, right? Uh, it's called Nemesis Inferno. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sick. <laughs> and it's this, my next band. This, this ride was like the sickest fucking thing when I was a kid. And going on, going there again. Um, so that was like the first ride that I went on with Sydney. Oh, I was like, Sydney, you need to go on Nemesis Inferno. It is fucking fantastic. This is like the best thrill ride. Um, and I don't know if it's just because I've got an order, but it just wasn't as exciting as what I remember it. I don't uh, know, man. I'm looking at these pictures and as someone who hates roller coasters, poop would be flying out my pants. <laughs> I, I, I don't like a crazy. million percent. I always liked uh, Alton Manor more. Alton Towers, you oh, mean? Oh, Towers, sorry. Alton yeah. I'm Towers. I'm thinking of the other, the other one's Manor. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like the big three. All right. Yeah, because- <laughs> the 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 there's, the the, there's like three big thrill parks. Yeah, right, right. Thor Park's the biggest, but it's because it's the closest to London. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, Thor Park uh, is- Yeah, Al Alton Towers. Alton so Towers is more up north. It's um, so good though. I mean, when's the last time you went to like a thrill theme park? Because- oh, man, like yeah. seven, seven, six years ago. Yeah, because uh, go, going to Thor Park, what it made me realize is that I think, you know, you know, going on like rides with like loops in them, I fucking hate the loops. I I, I, I remember liking them as a kid and now I going to going to Thor Park, going on a ride with a big loop in it. Um, my favorite part of every thrill ride is just like the one, mm. the one big drop, you know, yeah. uh, where you just feel like, you know, feel like the butterflies 
uh, the butterflies in your stomach. Yeah, I fucking hate that. You hate that? Oh, I, I love that. that part. That's the best feeling, I man. Hate Bro, that, feel. that is the I used, best I used feeling. I fucking love Oblivion. Go scroll up. You just, like that one. This one's fucking sick. Oh, dude. you oh. couldn't pay me on that, <laughs> one. dude. It's it's no, no. it's literally a drop, vertical drop into the ground. Fuck no, yeah, just give me just give me so one terrible. big vertical drop. It's oh no, so what's sick. good about this one is that they go into the vertical drop and then they stop right on the edge to let you, yeah, you look, look down. Oh, I'm at where you're gonna drop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I scroll up? Did I see a virtual tour of it? Is that what it said? Oh, I thought it's this book now. Yeah, well, you, this is like better to show on YouTube, I think, if yeah. you just show these yeah. guys. Wait, uh, yeah, what's the Nemesis one like? Uh, the Nemesis one, I didn't, I don't remember it, it having that many loops in it. Mm. Um, also, the ride just feels, it does feel very dated right now. Mm. Uh, Cause I, mm. you know, going on Nemesis, I forgot how- Front seat of oblivion. Okay, uncomfortable yeah, it this. is. Let me so see. just fast forward to the yeah, top. Yeah, just, just, just fast forward to go to the top again. So, um, so you're in like the most uncomfortable seat of all time. Yeah. And when you start going down the loops, uh, so the safety thing is on like, you know, if, if it's, it's like a typical safety vest uh -huh. that you have in many, uh, in many rides. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that's hell oblivion, that's no. oblivion. Yeah. Oh, um, that, nah. And then my head just started smacking the side of the safety vest. And I was like, this just hurts. <laughs> yeah, this just hurts going on. The I don't remember this as a kid. Maybe I just got a bigger head or something, but this just really <laughs> yeah. fucking hurts right now. Damn. Um, but I think my favorite ride in Thorpe Park was they added a new ride where it's basically just you, it's kind of like the Superman where you go up very, very fast. And mm. then you, it's just one big drop and it lasts about, Five seconds or something, oh, yeah. and that was that was that was the only that was the only ride I actually enjoyed out of Thorpe Park. But mm. um, what 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 it made me realize is that there's more exciting things that I think you could be doing, like paragliding. I, I think I got more of an adrenaline rush doing uh, going down the ski slopes actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because I think with skiing, especially if you're inexperienced like yourself, you have a legitimate threat of. Possibly dying. I think that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. I think going on this these Whereas rides- Whereas you have to be pretty <laughs> unlucky to die on a roll. Going coaster. on these rides and being like, yeah, okay, we can go down loops and everything, but I feel pretty safe in here. This just doesn't do it for me anymore. See, is this how adrenaline junkies start? Yeah. Like, yeah. Where you're like, well, this is this this kind of shit just I, doesn't do it anymore. I don't, I, I don't know what I, I don't think I get any thrills from anything like that anymore. Really? I'm just kind of like, all right. I think the thing that yeah. I hate about roller coasters, are like I feel more, scared to go on a roller coaster than say going down a ski slope is because at least with a ski slope, even if I am inexperienced, I have somewhat of a control. But I feel like- Whereas on a roller more, coaster, yeah. I'm just a spectator. I have no control whatsoever. So even if I want to slow down, you can't slow down on a roller coaster. But you have way more chance of being injured or dying yeah. from skiing. Well, from yeah, skiing. you know what, skill issue. No, I, no, I, mean, I agree. <laughs> no, actually, I it's, agree. A it's a mental diff. Yeah, it's yeah. a mental diff, exactly. I mean, I agree with you, but- yeah. But with a roller coaster, it's like I have, I'm literally tied down where like I can't move, I can't control this. And I hate the fact that I have no control over yeah, it. Yeah, but you could also say that for every time you go on a plane, you're like, well, shit. I, I am I am in total trust of the pilot yeah. and the, and the uh, mechanics of the plane to stay in one piece. Yeah, but at least with a plane, you get to go somewhere. <laughs> you know, with a roller coaster, you're just back to where you fucking started. <laughs> After waiting, at least in Japan, a couple of hours to go on a five minute ride or yeah. a two minute ride, yeah. which just never made sense to me. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm not a big theme park fan, but I think that's just getting old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was like, It's shit. just the sad truth of shit. getting older. Cause I, I, remember, I was like that from the beginning. I, well, I, I remember as a kid, like I, like, I would be fucking They were like hyped. magical. Yeah, they were it magical would, I'd be days. fucking hyped to go on all of these rides. And yeah. you know, I'd have some, I'd go to some cousins who were like in their like late twenties, early thirties, who they'd be like, ah, I'm a kid not going on this ride. I'm like, are you serious? I hope I never get to that phase where I'm just okay, not one to experiencing this fucking exciting ride. That was and here I am <laughs> being like, well, shit, I've been on the rides and I'm like, eh, I'd, rather, I'm I'd rather just, Go to the pub and get a beer. <laughs> honestly, honestly, well, I was because I, I don't have to line up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, well, like getting into the park or getting to the park is often a, a fucking slog in, it in is, itself. It is. And then when you get there, you got to line up, and then you're like, all right, well, we can have some lunch, and then you have the middest food of your life that costs double, and you're like, God. Yeah.